Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dignity. I, this is going to be the final replay, I believe, unless someone uh, in the StarCon space delivers me something additional. Bottom left hand corner, we got Doodle starting as the Brown Protoss. Upper left hand corner, we have Crossy starting as the Blue Zerg. This is on Radeon, so absolutely massive map. Crossy starting to scout out to the top right. Uh, Doodle. Yeah, I think this got uh, cast on. I, I think I cast these with uh, Urban. On the main stage is they're very very familiar but it'll it's been a minute so i'll try to engage what is it mental fog so it is still a fresh commentary for you guys at will forget whatever i need to forget in the moment to make it better for you guys uh doodle going down to the low ground to go ahead and plant that pile on let's see if he goes for <clears throat> a probe scout immediately after which suggests okay he's holding it on position which suggests we're going to see gateway I kind of like, uh, you know, out of all the gateway opener, I like Forge first on this map just because it's so gigantic. And if there was going to be a 12 Nexus, I almost wonder if this is the map to try to pull it off on. Although, we do see a 9 pool, it looks like, from Crossy. So Crossy going some, maybe because of that, going for some early Zerglings. This always ends up an interesting scenario. Gateway first versus uh, 9 pool uh, first. The additional drone clicked out. By the way, on the concept of uh, build variants, this is what I'm talking about, is cross seat. So going over pool, over pool most of the tournament, and then throwing out now the occasional nine pool, which creates a little bit of that threat uh, where Protoss feels a little bit less comfortable going for uh, particular build orders, particularly on four player maps in the dark like this. Doodle finding empty nest bottom right. Unfortunately, it's going to end up in a last scout situation. I think this is going to be the full six uh, Zerglings constructed here initially. Yes, all six Zerglings being constructed. Um, and now the question is, is when the well, first of all, when does Doodle, uh, Doodle scout it? Because what can create some problems here is that first sell it oftentimes will get annihilated if it's out deep in the field. Um, secondarily, Protoss, oftentimes with Gateway first, their first thought is, okay, I'm just going to get out there. Finding the Overlord in position, Doodle knows that his opponent's upper left, so nice adjustment here. But I don't know that he's going to see the Zerglings, and that could be all the difference here. So we're going to kill Vision for a moment. Seize the Zerglings now, fielding out, but does it, and now the Zealots, yeah, I'm hightailing it back to home base. And a Forge and a Blockade need to happen now, as soon as possible, out on the front. So Pro, oh no, he's going to go for a Nexus. To follow, so didn't recognize. If he he moves up, he sees that hatchery, sees the lack of gas, and as a result, these zerglings are gonna be able to get in the main, and it's four zerglings, which is the annoyance number. There are certain yeah numbers of zerglings which are more annoying than others, and this is this always ends up being an absolute frustration, and particularly when you have a player like Crossy who uh, he can just absolutely micro his brains out, and his multitasking is phenomenal. So, unfortunately, I can't click on the mini-map. <laughs> just realized, okay, so what was it there? Checking, in the meantime, back to the base, it looks like the probe is... I think a probe got killed in the space of this. And more Zerglings looking to go for even more run-bys to sell it. And these probes looking to potentially blockade. No gas as of yet for, for Doodle. He's still... Uh, his build order is going to be somewhat thrown off in the midst of this, but... He's done a good job defending. I mean, he hasn't lost... Uh, he's gotten some workers weakened, but not dead yet. Natural expansion up, by the way, and a third at the northern 9 o'clock location. I don't like saying 10 o'clock because it's kind of hard on the, the map, but these Zerglings also sitting by. And the secondary problem now for Doodles, he doesn't have a lot of information as far as what cross he's up to. Um, but he's done a magnificent job of mitigating... Uh, probe kills. Cybernet score trying to block the way. Loses a single probe for that. Zerglings still running around. Looks like he does have that front door sealed in. A couple probes waiting alongside just in case. Probes transferring to the natural expansion, not taking any hits. And a couple zealots actually moving out to go ahead and press uh, these Zerglings back. So, uh, not losing any gas right there. So, actually, really solid defense, in all things considered. Um, he does need to get a move on and clear these Zerglings out before that plus one speed kicks in, because then it can be a huge frustration. But Doodle still up a handful of workers, hasn't managed to counter harass his opponent, hasn't managed to get information, but at the same time, he's only lost two probes now, as far as a raw count. And that's not bad, considering how long these four Zerglings have been here. Ugh. 
So pretty solid uh, thus far. Uh, Crossy, though, in the meantime, has managed to tech all the way to Lair. He's got a hefty, hefty worker count behind this just because he's felt absolutely zero pressure. Stargate dropping. Cro the other benefit of having the Zerglings in the main as you're scooting them around, this guy, this particular Zergling, got that uh, handful of kills under his belt. And able to get a third kill before he was wiped out. Plus one weapons queued up, but Crossy's uh, completely closed the economic, any sort of economic gap. Um, he does, uh, Doodle does have a supply lead that he's looking for. A Spire on the way. Fourth Hatchery already on the way. And no Corsair out uh, as of yet. Also, Citadel of a Doom planting. Is that Corsair going to get skipped? Okay, we do have the Corsair constructing. So Doodle, because of all of that earlier game harassment, a little bit further behind where he would be in the build order otherwise. And Crossy, because he hadn't, he really didn't have to worry about any sort of zealot harassment or tracking down any zealots. He was just kind of microing the zerglings around, uh, pretty far ahead, uh, as far as just like build order to build order timing here. So Hydra will stand being plopped. This is going to be a transition back to five hatchery evolution chamber in the back corner. Actually, evolution chamber kind of getting hidden in the space of this. Corsair making its way out onto the map, and a couple of drones look like they're going to be transferred to the nine o'clock to get full saturation here. And uh, yeah, Crossy, pretty solid mid game. Thirty one, being within three workers and having three bases, nearly fully saturated at this stage. A very very good position to be in. Are the scourge going to? Okay, the scourge not going to spawn right there. Doodle's not going to get it. He sees the spire. Is not going to be able to get a good look. Looks like he wants to try to get an overlord kill before the scourge are making their way across. I'm a little bit surprised that there's even an opportunity for this. Actually, it looks like there's actually not going to be. Uh, Doodle gonna have to make his way out and actually Doodle going for the recognizing that Doodle's got to hightail it out of here went for a long cross route and is now trying to box that Corsair but a nice little bit of juke he, okay eats one scourge trying to juke its way around making its way out towards top right by the way we got a bunch of stuff a bunch of Zerglings kind of planted there these scourge making their way back across looking again for a cutoff lane do keep it alive and active, getting a little bit of a gateway flood in the space of this. And is he going to be able to ah, find the cut? Oh, able to split through the jukes. So Corsair makes it back to home base in the midst of all that. But Doodle, not up as much supply as he potentially wants to be. Going to go ahead and drop that gateway flood in the space of this. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I might have missed Zelt Leg Speed. Yeah, Zelt Leg Speed is finished. He's running out to the map. A bunch of Hydalists and Zerglings engaging that, though. And it looks like the, the Scourge, after they lost that Corsair, started tracking that Zealot leg force. And Doodle mostly packing, uh, drawing out to that right-hand position where they're... Hopefully, he'll, he'll be able to scatter them. It's important to keep those Zealots out in the map to keep that threat. Two additional cannons dropping, just in case. Because losing these Zealots, uh, you have a little bit less defense out in front. Ooh, some nice. So, Crossy getting a little bit strung out there which is allowing some of these Zerglings to be cleaned up out of his attack force. The Hydra's ending around. So Doodle's with some nice micro. And Doodle was still wanting to check that 12 o'clock base and still wanting actually to, to get a good look at the natural expansion. It's not going to happen, though. Drawing them back. The Scourge doing a great job of pinning on this. Three results cycling the way around. You, you can actually see some great vision, by the way, on Crossy's part. If we get rid of you can just see he's got pretty solid... Uh, eyesight on everything out there, but the Zelt swinging around. They're not a threat at the nine o'clock. They're not a threat uh, anymore at the natural expansion, but they might be able to at least push in uh, to get an idea of the, the drone count potentially. So we'll see. Psystorm, by the way, just finishing up where it looks like we're going to go up to six gateways overall. And we do have a Dark Templar out in the front. No Overlord nearby uh, to deal with it. Um, so no no pressure on the front at the very least. So Doodle still has an opportunity to go ahead and and build some forces out. Looks like we do have Overlord Speed on the way. Uh, before Overlord Speed hits, so he can maybe get a bulk troop uh, count out there and capture a third base to extend the match. Uh, plus one weapons by the f uh, finish, by the way. Dark Templar kind of wandering out into Overlord range. Looks like the, this might have been just kind of a ruse. A little bit of trickery, if you will. Supply count's even, by the way, which is terrifying for Doodle. But to get that Dark Templar out to the 12 o'clock location to slow this down as the drone makes its way out. Um, so Overlord Speed now finishing. Same timing as Lurker Aspect. 
Um, Doodle is actually down on supply, which is not great. He is able to stop that 12 o'clock base briefly. Has a whole lot of size storm to work with, though, potentially. But uh, doesn't have a massive enough uh, attack force right this second to kind of press out. And that does give an opportunity for some lurkers to morph on the field and for a natural expansion contain on Crossy's part. Couple. Hydralisks is going ahead and checking things out. The Dark Templar exiting the 12 o'clock location as a bunch of Hydralisks were burned. Although there wasn't an Overlord here at the 12 o'clock location as of yet. And also, it looks like Doodle might be able to find a little bit of an open window in between. Are we going to see drops? Because we got some Overlords making their way towards the front. That might just be able to, uh, to deal with potential Dark Templar that are on the front door. But unfortunately, the Zealot's going to peel right back out. Could have been some dead Hydralisks right there on Crossy's part. And Doodle right now has managed to off his gateway count to Surge. He's got all sorts of Dragoons. Single Zealot getting wiped out. Might uh, I think he can break this contain, but I'm not sure if he can break this contain and hold his natural expansion and get a six uh, get that six o'clock base interior six o'clock base up and running. That'll be the hard part here. Um, a little bit stranded. Moving out, able to clear those lurkers very very rapidly. Psy Storm, uh, some of it lost, and that exposed High Templar. Crossy very, very good about diving in and picking those units off and sneaking right back out. And Doodle trying to make motion that direction, but regrouping initially here. And this isn't much of an attack force, actually. Uh, Crossy, I think, recognizing he's in a strong economic position, is going to have his fourth up before Doodle has his third up, uh, is instead going to go for a more defensive stance. Doodle actually making his way to the 9 o'clock rather than the 6 o'clock. A little bit, that makes more sense. More defensible by ground rather than having to go across this huge artifact. So ignore me in that aspect. Um, but Doodle also, rather than dropping... So, the, it might... Yeah, he's got to be careful of the counterattacks underneath. It looks like some Hydralists might be able to peel down. He's going up and testing this 10 o'clock base. Hydralists getting engaged. The Observers might get picked off across that corner. Nexus not yet dropped, by the way. Overlord killed mid map. Doodle all of a sudden in an okay supply position. That 12 o'clock base is not yet saturated, by the way. Um, but by walking his army out, no longer had the protection at his 9 o'clock. And now this turned into, okay, a he needs to get a reverse kill situation. If he does wipe out this 12 o'clock Nexus and, and keeps that army alive and kills it back out, he'll be okay. He did put Crossy in the red, which helps. But the trick is, is he's got to keep the bulk of his army alive and moving across the map. Some reinforcements, particularly these High Templar getting cut off. Three Zell, and I love what, what Doodle did here. He didn't strand his entire army at the 12 o'clock. He's going to be able to wipe out that base. That keeps it three base versus two, which is manageable. But now the trick is, is draw that army back, wipe out the Hydralists bottom left. And instead, it looks like he's going to try to push up towards that third. He needs to be careful doing so. Is also, by the way, very important to get rid of the larva so you can't have the ninja drone on site after the fact. Crossy also checking the 6 o'clock just to check out the situation. But Doodle in an okay situation here now. He just needs to draw back, clear out these Hydralisks. Uh, ooh, never mind. We got a drop incoming, by the way. What are the upgrades looking at? Plus one weapon, plus one armor? Mm, versus very nice upgrades for Crossy, by the way. And I think the, uh, off the two evolution chambers here. Doodle engaging, clearing out the six, but missing this, the drop that's going to be right on top of his main. Three Corsair are there to help observe it, uh, absorb it, but not enough. And now he's got an army completely out of position. High Templar making its way out. A, a couple big storms could help clear this immensely, get, but just dropping, plummeting in that worker count. And it is much easier for Zerg to suffer worker losses than Protoss in this matchup. And that Nexus getting focused down. He needs that Nexus to stay alive so he can keep building workers out of it, even if he doesn't have a lot of minerals up that his main. Instead, gets dropped before that Hydralisk army is cleaned up. And now Doodle all of a sudden in a bad situation. He's got five Zealots there at the 12 o'clock. He has managed to get a Nexus plopped down at the 6, but Crossy starting to move out on the map. And I think he knows that Doodle, if he just wipes out this army, Doodle isn't going to have the uh, the economic prowess to maintain. So now, Doodle's army getting pressed back. 
and getting absolutely swarmed a lot of it dying just headlong maybe if he can get to the high ground uh, i don't know that he's going to be able to actually hold the high ground here at the six either not finding the best engagement point two more high templar without side storm making the way forward looks like they are going to be able to clear out these high delists. but these units are units that doodle can't afford to lose where crossy still has three solid functioning bases to work with and a healthier drone count so even if the trades aren't going in Cross's favor, which it looks like, uh, honestly, Doodle's getting really good trades with this, it's not going to work out for Doodle in the long run. Zealot's now peeling out of that 12 o'clock location, making the way down. High Templar able to at least keep the 6 o'clock base alive. I'm not sure how the workers, uh, that looks like they're distance mining to the main. I don't know how the workers are going to peek out to get to the 6 o'clock location either is an, a secondary problem for Doodle as well. So if Crossy just keeps applying pressure to the six o'clock base, uh, that'll be an issue as well. Looks like the probes are making their way right this second. Does Crossy spot it and tr and go for it after the transfer? So the probes actually make it into the six, but there's not enough units to defend. Otherwise, the cannons are down. Probes are now gonna have to defend themselves. And it looks like they're gonna get taken out, which is dropping Doodle's count, uh, worker count even further. And now the Hydral is just going to be able to sidle in and wipe out the 6 o'clock Nexus. 12 o'clock base was also being built behind this. So Crossy able to rip, just rest that game out of Doodle's control and continue in the upper bracket uh, to go on to the finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.